Welcome to Hollywood, you have arrived. Hollywood, California, the land of the rich and famous, where money, power, and fame means everything. Native American actor Saginaw Grant has found huge success in Hollywood, working in films like The Lone Ranger with Johnny Depp and The World's Fastest Indian with Academy Award winner Anthony Hopkins. My name is Bert, Bert Monroe. Jake. Jake, yeah, you Yes. With all his success in film and television, Saginaw has not forgotten his roots as a Native American. This is the legacy of Saginaw Grant. People want to know what, how we experience, what our experiences was growing up. The stories that I heard from my grandpas and grandmas give me enough knowledge to know that I want to be like my grandpas and grandmas. I want to live the same life that they lived. And it's not hard. It's not hard to live this, this kind of life. In fact, it's so simple. It's complicated to people who don't understand the way we live. I prepared myself from what my grandpa's told me. You're gonna to have to take care of yourself when you go out, when you're by yourself. You're going to be, have to be able to feed yourself, to clothe yourself, to do the things that the Creator wants you to learn and do. And you'll get that opportunity when you're 14 years old. You're going to be turned loose in the wilderness for one year. From spring to spring, you have to live out in the wilderness. You can't come in when it's cold. You can't, you have to build your own, own shelter. You have to get your own food. Two generations of our people, we don't pay attention to what our elders tell them. That's what the responsibility of our elders, that's what we need to do, is to get our children, get our young folks down and tell them stories about our people, tell them how they survived all this time, but did it in a, in a way that we had honor, we had pride, there was a lot of things that, uh, that are gone today that aren't here because of all the distractions. The last three generations, I'll say, they became lost. They don't know who they are. Yeah, they know the name of their tribe, and they, but they don't have no position in, in the tribe. They don't have one that takes, that one that does beadwork, one that dances. One that uh, th there's different chores that each one of us have. Despite the decline of interest affecting tribal youth, Saginaw uses balance to preserve traditional ways. Traditionally, our way, when somebody likes something that you have, you're supposed to give it to them. If somebody said, I like, I like your ring. And if it's uh, someone that's close to you, then that's what you do, you take it off and you say, here, it's yours now. And we don't do that anymore, that because a lot of people don't. We just go out and say, I like what you got, I like what you got. But there are things that, uh, that make you feel good traditionally. And we know that we're right most of the time when Things take place here on Mother Earth, especially the government. The government doesn't know what I feel. They don't know my my feelings or the actions that I do sometimes. 
they want the way they want me to live the way they want me to live. And I, a lot of ways I can't do that. So right away I'm, I'm considered a uh, a rebel. How old are you again? Which one's that one? It's uh, what Lord? Lawrence? Um, we. I've had a lot of people come to me, and I say this over and over again, that they want to know how to get spirituality, if I could teach them spirituality. I can't give that to no one. I can't teach no one, because everyone here on Mother Earth is born with spirituality. We all are born with the same condition or the same things that we all have as people as human beings. See, I was never taught about God. I was never taught how to pray. These things I knew automatically. I knew what my mom and dad, my grandpas and grandmas, were doing when they were talking to him every day, every morning. The contentment I seen in their faces and their smile knew that they were, I knew that they were feeling good. I knew that they were enjoying themselves when talking to the Creator. So it was just natural for me to do that because I wanted that same feeling that they had. And I do get that feeling when, every morning because that's my routine, that's my daily thing is to thank the Creator for giving me another day to do the things that I think I need to do. And the things that I need to do, I'm very I take my time in about doing things because the things that are important that need to be done will be done. So remember that. Remember to take your time. Don't be in such a rush because rush because you'll miss something that you needed to see. But if you take your time, you take in everything that comes into your life and not just rush through it. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Um, well, definitely, you know, Saginaw would like his legacy to, to be carried on long after he's gone. To me, he's more than just uh, being an actor, but he's someone that um, motivates and, and that can teach people, not just the youth. I know he works a lot with children, and, um, but it was his words, and I just thought that that is the kind of person I'd like to be, and being able to you know, carry on this message and just teach uh, people about the native, um, the native culture. Going through for the last, what, 20 something years, you know, he's always been there. He's always, for anything I ever needed or anything I did, he was always there for me to help or to talk or whatever. But I know in native way, He's what they were supposed to be, the way we're supposed to be. Uh, first, the first word that comes to me is humble. Humble, just his humbleness. And the next one would be respect. And then traditions. Because he is all about traditions with the native people. And he's always saying that if we lose our traditions, we lose our people. It's like, if like that drum and the powwow, once that drum stops beating, then your heart stops beating, and what happens after that? Well, I don't have to explain that. It's kind of just goes hand in hand, so you, you know, tradition is the heartbeat of our people. I want people to know about my people, the way that we enjoy life. If there was, if everyone used the philosophy that I talk about, this would be a completely different world. There would be no more wars. There would be negotiations. Truthful negotiations, not like they are today. People would believe as one. It would be a different place.